Hello. Welcome back to the channel. So not so long ago, we took the MG down to Silverstone on its shakedown run and all went really, really well, actually, apart from a couple of things. So in this video, I'm going to tackle, hopefully, one of them. So when I was going down to Silverstone, I noticed it was getting rather hot. Uh, and that's because I've got a heater knob missing, but that's not the issue. It's the blower. So I went down with it pretty much off because setting one and two don't do a damn thing. Settings three and four, fine, they seem to be okay, but for some reason, settings one and two, I'm getting nothing from it whatsoever. So uh, I had a look online and there is some electronics going on behind here, as you'd expect, and they are quite prone to failure. It should be a simple fix. So let's take a look. So I think the first thing I need to do is remove this glove box because behind the console, the center console, is a small, almost like resistor pack or a few resistors that control each of these blower settings. So I can't get at that without removing the glove box. So that's first. So either side of the glove box, you've got the kind of arms. If you kind of press them in and then pull them towards you, it does drop down a little bit further. And then it looks like we've got a Phillips screw either side. Right, so it looks like there's another two screws underneath. Ooh. So that comes out easy enough. Do need to be careful because on top of here there's a there's a connector for what looks like the a switch and the light. That's the glove box out of the way anyway. Now, from other videos I've seen on this topic, of which there are some, you also have to remove this, this sort of pipey bit here, which feeds air in from like the bonnet area into the blower itself. Uh, because I can't see where this resistor pack thing is, I am going to remove this. There's a Phillips head bolt uh, screw down here. There's a 10 mil bolt not here even. I'm going to try and get this off, see if I can see something new. Right. Okay, so with that out of the way, you can see the, the blower sort of fan thing here. Now just above here, I'm pretty sure that is where the, the resistor pack thing is kept. So I need to get in here and, and take this out somehow. There is a bit of a clip. Looks like it might pull off. So that just pulls out just fine. So it looks like there's two bolts holding this on either side of it left and right no idea what size they are i think there might be a six mil so i'm going to undo those and hopefully it should just pull out so the fan that the best way to get in here is on your back if you can so they are a six mil One funky. Oh. oh, resistor thingy. Now that is broken and gnarly. Well, let's take a closer look at this. Oh. Right, this looks pretty naff. So there's lots of sort of corrosion buildup. And this oxidey kind of stuff here, not to mention whatever the hell this is. I'm sure that's not supposed to be there. Oh Christ. I think it's fair to say that this is knackered and it's amazing any setting was working really. So we've got three coils. One, two, three. So as you can imagine, with this four settings on the car, so you'd imagine the four setting is unrestricted, so no resistance, and then these knock the power down depending on the resistance. So this one looks largely intact, which would probably set in three. 
which worked okay, and that's intact. This one, setting two, that's clearly broken. And then setting one is also broken as well. So that's bollocks. Right, got a replacement part here, hopefully. Now, in theory, you could clean this up and add some similar wire into this to try and repair it, but that is quite far gone. And for the sake of a couple of pounds, a few pounds, you could get the replacement part. So hopefully this looks similar. So that's nice, shiny and new. And by and large, looks like the same thing. So I'm gonna swap this out. Hopefully that should fix our problems. But first I need to invert myself. Putting it in this way. Now you need to be careful putting this in that you don't break any of the coils. Got to over tighten these, just snug them up. There we go. Just need to put that connector back. Now before I put everything back, it would make sense to try and test it. So I'm gonna reconnect the battery and give that a bit of a go. Okay, so setting one. Yay. Setting two. Brilliant. All I need to do is put all this back together. In hindsight, you don't need to remove this screw. It doesn't hold this cowl thing on. Right, well that was a complete and utter faff. Um, really difficult to get in there. Um, spent a lot of it on my back looking up. It, I found to be the best way to do it. But at least it's done and it all works as it should now, which is great. And it only cost a few pounds as well. So that's, that's really good. You could probably repair that um, if it was just one of the, the coil bits of wire broken, but for the sake of a few, a few pounds, just re replace the thing and, and it's sorted for a long time now. So, um, also, when I went down on the shakedown run to Silverstone, I did notice a couple of other things as well. So I'm gonna cover those off in future videos. Also, there's going to be a short video coming out quite soon on some channel news, hopefully some good news to share with you and the future of the channel. Um, but in the meantime, stay safe. Thanks for tuning in. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It does help out the channel massively. See you again.